Hey y'all, I'm back today. This time I'm doing a video on my computer. If y'all haven't seen my last video, um, my reaction to Lil' Kim's music video, Nasty One, you can go check me out or check that out. I just posted it up now. And this one probably posted 30 minutes or so after. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna see how long it takes. So, you know, today I like to do, um, you know, I got time today because <laughs> if you're a lovely T fan, you already know. You know what I'm from. But anyway, um, oh yeah, yeah. So today I want to do a like special, you know, shout out video. You know what I'm saying? I always talk about, you know, um, here and there. If you know me in person, you know I'm, I can be quite, you know, militant on my views with race and stuff. And, you know, I'm very, you know, um... I'm very, you know, strict on me at least making, you know what I'm saying, all the purchases that I make, I try, purchases, there we go, that I make, I try to make sure that at least five of them out of a month, whatever it is, if I try to switch deodorant, you know, as far as my hair goes, I always buy black on hair products. I've been buying black on hair products for about two years now. Um, I don't see, you know, I've talked about it in a video previously that I posted before, but I don't see the point in buying white uh shit for black hair i don't see the point in that you know what i'm saying if suave works for you you know if you got that your little little mix stuff then i guess that's fine but you know if you got that 4c you know this if you got them curls and kinks then you know what i'm saying um if you got them curls and kinks then you know what i'm saying um you you need some black on stuff because they know what they're doing and it's natural <laughs> so at any rate <laughs> Um, without further ado, I want to shout out Lovely T. Um, that's a channel that if y'all, you know, if y'all have seen, you know, any who I follow or whatever, you definitely see her under there. I've been a avid fan viewer since about, you know, 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. You know what I'm saying? And to see her finally, you know, launch this tea line, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just, you know what I'm saying? It made me, it, it inspired me, it encouraged me, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, get the ball rolling on what I'm doing with my music and stuff like that. So, thank you for that, Miss Lovely T. And also, I'm here today to do a demonstration and a review of the teas. So, um, y'all know I'm a little classy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to go, you know, get a little golden, you know what I'm saying, gold little teapot mesh. Nah, that ain't black on, that's white on. Sorry, T. You know, because she do got mesh ball. Um, the site is lovelyteashop.com, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Make sure. I want to send y'all on a goose chase. Lovely T. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Oh, lovelyt.net. There we go. Okay. So that's the site right there, lovelyt.net. That's what it looks like. You got a little black name right there. Y'all know how screens and cameras work, but you know. You know. Um, it got a little heart logo in there. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. So at any rate, that's the website. Um, she also started um, a partnership or whatever with Amazon. So shout out to her for that. You know what I'm saying? Because now I can get these teas, you know, two days later. You know what I'm saying? I'm a student. So I've been using the hell out of that student prime. It's so been so good to me. I might I might actually pay for it with my trial up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but um nonetheless I want to do a live demonstration. So I the way that it worked, you know, when I shop black on, I'm not saying just throw a thousand dollars into a company. You know what I'm saying? Obviously you want to test stuff out. So at first, these three just came in the mail today. Let me go ahead and pan the camera down so y'all can see it. I got water boiling on the stove, by the way. All right. So I've tried this one, the vanilla matcha, right here. See if I can get it good for y'all. There we go, vanilla matcha. Um, I tried that one, and I tried the strawberry green tea. You know what I'm saying? Strawberry for me. And I want to thank her for making that one because strawberry for me, it has been, we have the most complicated relationship out of any fruit. You know what I'm saying? Me and strawberries, I love the taste of it, but I hate the seeds. My tongue is very particular. Like, I used to not be able to eat spaghetti because of the um, onions that would be in it. Like, my tongue is that picky. You know what I'm saying? Now, I outgrew that. You know what I'm saying? I love onions now. It's very weird. But strawberry seeds, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, I can't have strawberry smoothies. But I don't want seeds and shit. I, I, it's something about having to feel like I got to chew through my drink like that, which is funny. You know, that's something that my mom says about like aloe vera and stuff like that but for me strawberry seeds just no i can't do that <laughs> so
So, you know what I'm saying? That used to piss me off when I go to fucking McDonald's. Fuck y'all, McDonald's. Tell me some. No, there's no strawberry season. Bitch, yes, it was. All right. <clears throat> My rant is over now. Back to what I was saying. Okay. So, I got this one, Radiant Herbal Blend. And, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, T. I'm doing you all wrong. Let me read the description. All right. Vanilla Matcha. Vanilla Matcha is smooth in taste and in texture and combines the flavor and health benefits of nature's best treats. All righty. Strawberry green tea. This amazing organic green, or uh, this amazing organic tea is very refreshing and reflective. Lush ripe strawberry notes fill the cup leading to an astringent finish. Makes a great iced tea. Yes, the hell it does. This shit was good as hell. Okay, and the ingredients for this one are green tea, papaya, plus strawberry pieces, natural flavors. Oops, sorry. Shit, y'all ain't see that. All righty. So for this next one, we have Radiance Herbal Blend. Boldly herbaceous with a delicious pineapple chamomile finish. All right, so the ingredients here are chamomile, bamboo leaves, pineapple pieces, cornflower petals, natural flavors. All righty. T, you can't never say I ain't support you because the last time I had chamomile, uh, I, I was itching. I can't remember if it was my mouth that was itching or if it was me. I thought I was allergic to it, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna do it for the black on. Do it for the black on. I ain't gonna, okay, you know, that don't, that don't work. Okay, it don't work. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Raspberry matcha. Raspberry matcha is smooth in taste and texture and combines the flavor and health benefits of nature's best treats. So they're pretty much the same one as the vanilla. That's what it looks like. And then the last one. Ginger peach. Hold up. Just wait a second. Hey, Siri. Yes? Bitch, that's not what the fuck. I'm trying to look it up to see how to say it. Okay, check it out. Rubois. We just gonna call it that. Okay, fuck it. Rubois. Ginger peach rubois. Come on, rubois, boys. Okay, let me stop. All right. <laughs> Refreshing early summer sweet peach tones with light ginger hints. Lovely bright finish that makes your taste buds come alive. The instruction, or the in, sorry, the ingredients in this rubois, ginger, calendula petals, and blackberry leaves, and the natural flavors. All right, so those are the three that I have not tried. These just came in the mail today. Um, you can order from her site, or you can order from Amazon. Um, the way it works, I don't know if you know she gives them a percentage or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I would advise Amazon if you have the two day shipping, or if you don't, if paying that for you is not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a college student and I'm trying to move out. So I thank you, Amazon, for that free member, that free trial. I might continue buying it for real. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try that. I have the water on. I have the water on. Y'all give me just a second, I'll be right back. All right, hey y'all, I'm back. I know I said it was going to be uh, 30 minutes probably prior that I posted the next video, but that's a damn lie because my family came back home now. But now they're gone. I done made them uh, evacuate upstairs so I can finish the video. All right, um, all the brands and products used in this video, well, the tea and, you know, the tea measures, I will put those links below. This one is Apex Living. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, Apex Living. That is where I got both of these. I got two of them. Um, one spoon and two tea strainers. And as I, um, word of mouth, or, you know, not word of mouth, but caution, you know what I'm saying? If you get it gold, it's going to start, like, it's already starting to gray out at the bottom, as you can see. So, that's the price of being hood classy, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Everything that glitters ain't gold. <laughs> getting deep up in this video let me stop <laughs> but yeah so if you don't want to deal with the rusting and stuff which is pretty much you may as well just have bought a great thing then you know you can find them pretty cheap um two for six dollars i think was the lowest one i seen but i wanted to go y'all know i'm hood classy so you know i gotta have what i what i want <laughs> so yeah just put that aside i just opened the other one so there's the trash i'm just gonna discard that all right here we go so I had a dumb moment, a bomb moment, let's say that, because I'm sitting over here looking for where the, um, looking for, um, 
What was I looking for? Oh yeah, I'm looking for um, another tea measure, and I didn't remember or had forgot that um, with matcha, you know, you don't you don't need to strain it and do all that. <laughs> so that was fun. Then I was like, wait a minute, stupid. Yeah, but nonetheless. Um, all right, so we're gonna open, you know, open the packages up. All righty. So I'm gonna put the ginger peach. And this one right here, the one that's kind of like rusty and whatever. And the one that I just opened, I guess, is pretty much new. Radiance Herbal Blend is going to go in that one. Alrighty, now it calls for, if I'm not mistaken, they all should be the same in directions, if I'm not mistaken. Da -da -da -da. One teaspoon, and this is the hair and nails herbal tea, um, and seven to nine ounces of water in a teapot. All right. Ooh. When you drop the leaf and it costs money, so you're going to put it right back in like nobody's seen it. <laughs> so one, this is a half a teaspoon right here, this little thing that they gave me. So, and that one was a little, as I call it, a pussy spoon. Like, you know, I could have got a little bit more in there. So we're going to do that to even down. You know what I'm saying? So boom. That will make us that one cup right there. And that's how it works right there. For your bigger cups, you know, you can hang it on the thing so it can steep. Um, another technique I learned, you can put, uh, put the water in first so you don't have to worry about debris and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Once you, because sometimes when you pour it above or on top, you know, the tea starts to you know, a little, you know, cloudy, whatever. Clouds in my tea tea. Okay, let me not. Alrighty, so, oh, that one smells good. The ginger peach, you boss. Yes, that's how we're going to pronounce it. Alrighty, so, with that being said, I know I did not close, I closed the damn spoon in here. God damn. Alrighty. Ginger piece rhubarb, one, two, and again, this is a half a teaspoon, so that's why I'm putting four scoops in, because it's um two teaspoons, because these cups, these are, my, these are my mugs, they're pretty big, you know what I'm saying? You got to think highly of yourself, so you know, like a boss, you know what I'm saying? The king, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I do this, you know what I'm saying? In and out the stew, because what's up? What you want to do? Let me stop. All right. <laughs> So at any rate, you know, got your dose of self-confidence right here. Yes. Alrighty. Now, as far as the teas go with um, the sugar, I'm going to taste these without um, putting them in. You know what I'm saying? She advertises her teas as they don't need sugar. Now, me, I'm kind of a sweet tooth. It, well, when it comes to, like, drinks and stuff. Like, my coffee, it, it, I just stopped doing this. Like, well, I mean, I had to stop doing it. It was starting to show and shit. But I used to put like half a cup of sugar in my coffee. I might be overdoing it. A fourth of a, 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 a cup. Let's say that. I would put that much and, and maybe sometimes more. Like, um, and then on top of that, it didn't help that I used to, you know, drown it with creamer. You know, now I do that less or I spend less of that um, or do use less because I buy the um, almond milk brand of coffee creamer. And it's the same price, but it's half the size right here, which kind of pisses me off. But you know what I'm saying? Any stride is a stride. And as y'all can as y'all can hear, that was almost out. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I use now. So of course I've stopped using as much creamer as I used to. But I do that in milk. Um I'm very bad with the um my coffee in particular. I, like my coffee gotta be light skin. I ain't colors, but it gotta be light skin. I pour all the cream, all the milk. By the time I get done, it's half coffee and half uh milk and creamer. So but yeah, at any rate, um, I'm very sweet when it comes to that in particular. I don't really, you know, if sweet, if I have some good sweets, then I'll eat them. But you know what I'm saying? I'm more so sweet tooth when it comes to drinks and stuff. Um, so I do have to add a little bit in there. But what I did, what I try to do is do, um, you know, natural sugars, you know, like honey and shit. So um, this is the honey I have. The other honey I did not try. And, um, or no, the other honey that I tried, it was, an, it was another honey. But this is the honey I have. 
right here. I got it off of eBay. I think it was, I got two packs actually. I got two or two jars for, um, I think it was 15, 14, 13. It sounds expensive, but that's actually pretty good. Honey costs money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so yeah, at this point, we're going to steep these along. Or we're going to go ahead and get the water in and then steep these. And like I said, you know, a little fun fact or a little helpful fact would be to, you know, put the water in first. All right. I, I know we're trying to do a demonstration, but there's dishes in the sink, so I'm not going to turn the camera over to the sink because we're not going to do that. <laughs> so we're just going to pour it over here just to be safe. Safety first. You know, y'all can hear the water pouring. Y'all know I ain't over here pissing, so it's okay. That's the last one. All right, and here we go. And now usually what I do, if I don't have time to run a pot, which really this has been the first day I've had time to run a pot, then I will microwave the water for about six to nine minutes. And then since we just use water in that, you know, I can run that. But six to nine minutes, I will um, microwave the water, pour it in, and then, you know, do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. And usually my cups are not tall enough to need this little thing anyways, but it needs to go somewhere, so there you go. Yep, I'm going to have to stretch it out a little bit. It's okay. Everybody has their first time. <laughs> I'm weak. All right. So there we go. And there it's already starting to steep. I can see the color. Even in this darker mug, I can see it. Um, all righty. So there we go. And let me try to... There we go. Y'all can see them steeping. There we go. Got to use the camera. There you go. So y'all can see those steeping. All right, next, I'm going to make the matcha while I let those steep. About I usually do about five, three to five minutes to make sure I get all the flavors out. And the good thing about her teas is you can use them multiple times. You know, I actually did try this, and I got three good uses. By the third one, of course, it was kind of weak. But the strawberry green tea, that one in particular, I haven't tested it with any other ones. But that one in particular... You can use that um, multiple, uh, multiple for multiple brews, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes when you first look at the price, uh, price of stuff, you know what I'm saying, it'll start with you, but look at the, you know, labels and all that. Make sure you're reading what you, you know, you know what you're reading. All right. So, let's see. Next up, I'm going to do the raspberry matcha. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you all my alternative method. You know, this is a demonstration, so I want you to bring out the big bag. But usually, I keep it real with y'all. I get a cup, I put, I try, only try the vanilla, of course, as y'all seen, I just opened it. I put the vanilla matcha in, and I just whisk it and whisk it, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, now, of course, you probably, more than likely, you know what I'm saying, um, you're not going to get all the matcha to blend in, which is why I'm using a blender for this presentation right here, this um, time, but that's usually what I do, you know what I'm saying? Quick, easy, and on the go, but... I do have a ninja here with me. Um, of course, let me see how far this ninja cord is going to stretch. If I'm going to have, I'm going to have to reposition the camera. So, um, there we go. Sorry, the computer shut off on me. That's kind of stupid that uh, while I'm recording the video, it shut off. But at any rate, nonetheless, shift the focus over here. Alrighty, so there is the ninja right here. This is the um, smoothie maker. Alrighty. Oops. All right, this is the part that plugs in, you know. But at any rate, that's the top and all that, and then you got your blade in here. So, you have the matcha right here. Now, you can use anything for matcha you can use. If you drink regular milk, y'all know I've talked about this on before on my podcast, you know what I'm saying? If I had to name myself, even though my classmates said it as a joke, you know what I'm saying? Um, it would be, you know, if I had to define, you know, what I am diet-wise, it would be pesca vegan, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was a joke at the time, but I mean, it kind of fits, you know what I'm saying, when I think about it, because I haven't had real milk probably in like, let's see, I stopped eating meat last year of September 12th, but I mean, keep the, to keep it real, I probably haven't had milk longer than that, you know what I'm saying, unless it was bought and I just drank it just because, you know what I'm saying, prior to um, September um, 12th. But I always used to get almond milk anyways. Like, my nanny used to take me to the store. That was one of the things I would always get, almond milk. And it would be the Silk brand. Now, today we got great value. You know, 
crunchy, you know, save you some money, ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so, um, you can use many things for matcha though. You can use juice if you want, um, almond milk, milk, um, soy milk, whatever your, you know, preference. You know what I'm saying? But for me, it's going to be almond milk. I'm actually thinking if I should try the rice milk with this one in particular. Because almond milk and vanilla kind of go together, but I don't know, the rice milk is kind of... I don't know. Here, we'll just do the almond this time. You know what I'm saying? It can't hurt. In fact, you know what? We got all the time in the world. We'll do both. Just a second. All right. So here we go. Is the right? That's the rice milk right there, or the rice drink. Y'all can't never say I don't spoil you. I got all the good china out. Let me stop. <laughs> so we're going to put the um, almond one in this one, and then the other one we'll use the rice drink. Or actually, here, we'll do this one for the almond. All right. So same, <clears throat> same instructions, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Freshly, one cup, one teaspoon. All right, you can whisk it, blend it. Today we're going to blend it for a purpose of demonstration. So you go ahead and pour the drink first. That way it doesn't get stuck at the bottom and all that. All right, we're going to do, since we're going to do two, we're going to do eight cups. Or one cup. There we go. Shit, we went a little bit over, but it's okay. Well, hmm. Yeah. Went a little bit over one on that one, but that's okay. We'll um, make it work, add a little bit more in there. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna that I can make that a video too. Go on, we just, I'm gonna give y'all videos for days. All right, so we did one. And a little bit of a, um, a little bit on top of one cup. So, you know, we're going to put a little pussy spoon in there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, pussy spoon. All right. Now, blend the pussy. Let me stop. <laughs> but for real, we're going to, um, here we go. I'm just going to pulse it for a little bit. go. I can't really tilt it to y'all without it looking like it's going to spill. There you go. You see the green. You know, green is good for you and all that. Alright, so that's the almond milk. We're going to pour that one right there. And now let's hurry up and do the rice milk because you already know. Granted, it's going to hold together longer because we blended it, but you know that matcha, I don't want it to start disappearing. Alright, you know, we separating itself. So here we go. Rinse it out because you know rice drink has a bit of a more different taste. Alrighty. Try to see if I can stay on the one this time. Alright, there you go. On the line, suck my dick. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, put the rice drink up. And here we go. Same method. One, two. Alrighty, put those aside, put this aside. Bring this one over here. And here we go. Let me stop. Let me stop. Y'all ain't ready for that. <laughs> okay. All right. 
And that's the rice drink. Alrighty, and I'll be right back with y'all to taste and let you know my thoughts. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm gonna do the taste testing now. All right, so let's start with the Radiance Tea. All right, Black Jesus, please don't let me burn my mouth. Next, the peach tea, ginger peach. Hmm. I definitely feel in the peach one more, which I probably always gonna know that anyways, because when I brought up the whole um, chamomile thing, I didn't know how that was gonna go. But for tea, I, I'll sacrifice it. I hope I ain't itching later. <laughs> um, I never got a clear you know, answer on if I was allergic to chamomile or not. I don't know if it was just that one instance of it gave me that reaction. I don't know. But nonetheless, this is the um, raspberry matcha with rice drink. That's pretty good. All right. And then with the almond milk. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. All right. So this is the winner of this demonstration. A raspberry matcha with mixed with almond milk. I definitely like that. The rice drink is cool, but that's the winner. And out of the teas, I would pick the um, peach, or out of the ones that I purchased today, I would pick the peach um, ginger. Now, altogether, I would say that strawberry. The strawberry one, definitely. Strawberry green tea, that's my fucking favorite. Um, I will come back and do a demonstration later because she has one coming out that's specifically for males, you know, like, you know, boost libido, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I can get it popping with your daughter in her backseat. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> um, and for sweeteners, I use honey. Um, this organic honey right here. It came two uh, in a jar, or it came with two jars. I think it was like 14, 13, um, which is a pretty good deal, um, considering how expensive honey can get. And then this is coconut sugar. I just got this at Kroger. This one's five dollars. The um, Kroger brand one is three ninety nine. They're the same. They're the same concept. Got the same size and everything. The beats are, you know, simply organic. Or, you know, Simple Truth Organic, Kroger brand. So, um, or non-brand, whatever you want to call it. But they the same shit, you know what I'm saying? And they taste the same. You know, I let the brand get to me, but they all taste pretty much the same. And um, that's a more, um, it's coconut sugar, so it's a more, you know, natural sweetener. You know what I'm saying, per se? Versus using just straight up sugar. Um, so that is what I, and that's what I use to sweeten everything, you know what I'm saying? Even if I'm making like a barbecue shrimp or whatever and I want a little sweetness, I'll add that to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, this concludes this demonstration. I give her five stars, you know, T definitely took her time on this, you know what I'm saying? And to see her, you know, growth over these last few years, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just, it's been amazing, you know what I'm saying? To see how, you know, she's, you know, you like, you could be just watching a TV show and I don't know where you will see her, you know what I'm saying? I seen her on, I remember... Um, I was having, and I still be having this, you know what I'm saying, this period where I'm like, okay, I need to watch a black show and need to watch all the episodes. So, um, like, my last the recent one, I think, was Living Single. We are living single. Oh, and my shit. Max and, um, Max and, um, fuck. What the hell his name is? Max and, um, Max and the guy. God damn it, I can't remember his name right now. But they used to have me weak as fuck and they be going at it. Um, like, they, 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 they be going in on each other, but, um, and then towards the end of the series, literally, <laughs> but let me stop, <laughs> but, um, yeah, to, um, to see, um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, so me, um, watching the black shows and this and the other, I had, you know, fell upon the soul man, and I ended up watching that from start to finish, and I noticed on one of the episodes, I think it was, oh, I know which one it was for sure. It was one of the episodes where she was um, the um, voice and Lolly, who is played by Niecy Nash and Cedric the Entertainer. Shout out to them, by the way, to definitely the um, big inspiration of mine. But um, yeah, they um, there was an episode where she was um, pretty much racially profiled. And when they had the protesters, T was one of the protesters standing out there. And I noticed her. I was like, wait a minute. Go back. Go back. I'm like, I'm glad I got this, you know, glad we got direct TV with this DVR and shit so I can go back. Because I was like, wait a minute. What the fuck? And so, yeah, I seen her there. 
You know what I'm saying? So I definitely, and I've seen her in a couple other shows too. I'd be like, what the hell? Hey, how you doing, girl? So, yeah. <laughs> but um, to see her grow, you know what I'm saying? To see her really get into this acting, you know what I'm saying? It starts with small things, you know, being an extra. But once you, you know, get past that, you could really, you know, do some stuff. You know what I'm saying? She's featuring a couple music videos, you know, classy ones. You know what I'm saying? She ain't out here being a thought, a grown thought at that. So, shout out to um, T and keep doing what you're doing and keep making this shit because it's good as hell. <laughs> but yeah, that'll end this video and I will catch y'all next video. Bye.